Once you guys got another video, don't buy these rip-off gaming PCs. I made a video on this before, but I wanted to give it a refresh because some of my new audience may fall foul to this particular type of scam. Now, is it a scam? We'll have to work out whether it is or not. £149 gets you a cheap gaming PC with Core i3. The first problem I see is just Core i3. They don't tell you what generation it is. You have to go digging to have a look. Also, let's have a look at the image. The giveaway telltale signs of a green motherboard, which tells me this is pretty old. I can also see a graphics card in there. Now, if that is true, then £149.99 might not be such a bad price. Let's have a look at the read more and see what we find. So as you can see, when you start digging in here, we can see our gaming PCs are made usually of brand new components, excluding the motherboard CPU and it comes pre-installed with a genuine Windows 64-bit operating system. Well, if it's a motherboard and CPU, which is still used, then that is the whole computer. It's not a new computer at all. And there is the telltale sign right there, Core i3 second gen uh, processor, which means it's as old as dinosaurs. It's not gonna be much use for anyone and calling it a cheap gaming PC is an absolute insult. So having a look here at some of the specs, this is how people con people. The price is cheap, but it's very, very misleading because people will generally think that they're getting a gaming PC for 140 odd pounds. Motherboard model, various. That means it's probably gonna be taken out of one of these old surplus office PCs. If you look at the fine print here for returns and warranty and description, it will tell you right here, they're putting the responsibility on you. The main image is just a stock photo provided by the manufacturer to demonstrate the appearance of the PC case. So if you purchase without a graphics card or onboard graphics, please do not expect to receive one shown in the picture. So why show it in the first place? If you're not gonna get one with a graphics card, why show a picture like this with a graphics card in there? You can also see that cheap power supply, which will act as a indoor fireworks display once it goes bang. So pretty much you're not going to get any graphics card in there. You're getting a cheap power supply and that is pretty much it. And this is not the end. There's plenty of other ones on here. There's another one right here. Gaming PC bundle Core i7. Again, nicely missed out the actual generation of the Core i7, but it sells more when you say Core i7. You do get NVIDIA GTX graphics in here, 1650, two terabyte hard drive, which is probably used. And if you read all of the description here, it tells you the same thing. Core i7, second generation, pretty old stuff. They're leaving out all the key information, which you do need to know when you're buying a computer. So if you do look, you'll see it says second gen motherboard, which means that could be a Dell Optiplex motherboard. It can be anything. And again, when they're explaining what a gaming PC is, the gaming PC bundle has been built with a, an i7 second generation processor to play light games uh, efficiently with Windows 10 operating system. So they're telling you to check. Even that last post, they were telling you to check with your own games to see whether it can play those games because they don't want to be held responsible for misleading you. So they will tell you that it was all in the description. You didn't read it. You'll go and play a game and realize it can't play games. So this is the thing here. You can play like games, uh, watch live streaming and office work quick and easy. So why call it a gaming PC? Why not call it an office PC? USB 3.0 does not work as the motherboard doesn't support it. That tells you how old the motherboard is. And it says here, only expect the performance of the level of the components themselves. So basically it's pretty old and they're gonna tell you it's really old and it's not gonna be expected to do anything. Let's take a look at this one, £279.99. I guarantee that price will go up once you start putting the most popular recommendations in here, £389.99. They know they can't sell the Dell Optiplexes for that price, but what they can do is do the next best thing, rip it all out, stick it in a, a RGB case and sell it at a bigger price without letting the customer know that it is actually uh, really old stuff in there and being honest, they're sort of misleading people. Again, when you look at all the specs here, they're going to be using cheap components, cheap power supplies and cheap SSDs 
to try and get away with it. You can see GT710, really cheap uh, graphics card they'll stick in here. That's probably the only thing that is new. Everything else is used, apart from the case, of course. And again, when you look at the tech specifications here, there's no mention of what generation of processor they're using on this particular one. It doesn't tell you what generation it is at all. So it could be a first gen or a second gen, whatever they can get their hands on. So be very, very careful if you are looking at buying a gaming PC on eBay. Now, they're not verifying what types of motherboards they're using, but they could even replace them with something like this, which is £23.99. But if you're working in the industry, you can pick these up for free from companies after you do doing rollouts. Another thing that to remember is they're probably using Dell Optiplexes, HPs and Fujitsu machines. These old small form factors, they will get these for free from rollouts or old surplus stuff and they will just rip them out of there. Rip the CPU out, the memory and the motherboard, rip it out, put it into a case with a bit of RGB and call it a gaming PC. So I guess the question is, is this scamming people or is this a legit way of selling computers? I think it's a scam because you're not telling people exactly what you're getting. If you are selling a HP Compact 8200 Elite, small form factor like this one right here, you're getting what is listed on there. If you are ripping the guts out of this and putting it into a new case and selling it as a gaming PC, then you are deceiving that person. You're not being honest. You're still getting the same PC and you're now misleading the people by not listing all of the computer components correctly. You are being deceiving. You are not telling them what generation it is in the title where you're just saying i5 or i7 or i3 and it's second gen. You're not telling them how old that computer is, the computer components is. You're not telling them what motherboard is in there. It's various, which means it's probably been taken out of an old Dell Optiplex or an HP or Fujitsu or whatever they've got lying around. They'll just rip it out of there and put it into another case. These cases are like 25 to 30 pounds a pop. They're not expensive. The power supplies, sometimes they get cases with these cheap power supplies in them and they're not going to last that long because they're cheap. Some of them are installing Windows 11 on it to try and make it look like it's a Windows 11 system and it's not compatible for Windows 11. Some people are putting in used SSDs or even cheap SSDs from AliExpress where they buy them in bulk. And again, this is what it's all about. And they're getting these PCs for free, basically, and then they're just flipping them and putting them into cases. Now, if you're not going to be open and tell people that, it's, it's if you were selling a brand new, uh, you know, 13th or 14th gen Intel processor, you'd make sure you're telling people that because you want people to buy it. And you're going to tell them how powerful it is, but you're not telling them how rubbish this is because you're trying to deceive people to get rid of old crap that you have lying around. And some people just don't have a conscience. They will go ahead and mark this up as three or four hundred pounds when really it's not worth anything. And that's the reason why they can't sell it as one of these old office systems that are all battered up and everything. So what they do is they rip the guts out of it and put it into a case and flip it as a gaming PC. But in the small print, it says, make sure you check which games you're playing because it might not be able to play them. And the misleading part is, uh, you know, showing pictures with graphics cards in the build and when it is a stock image. And of course, they'll tell you this all in the small print. And if you try to send it back, they'll say, well, we told you about uh, what it can do and what it can't do. It's just you have not read the description and they're not going to give you your money back. So you're going to get your fingers burnt. And this is the problem. And I can guarantee you, if you are being honest and you put it all in the description about exactly what that PC is, no one will touch it with a 10 foot barge pole. So they use smoke and mirrors and a bit of fancy text and also uh, some images that are stock images to try and convince you that what you're buying is a really good fast gaming system when really it's not. Now, I know people need to be responsible for their own actions. And if you are buying something like this, then be very careful. Make sure you read all the small print and don't fall for scams like this because they are scams. And the people that are selling them to you know that it's a scam and they don't care.